Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, and I'm out here in my garage slash makerspace slash storage facility slash hoarders paradise with my buddy Jason, who's behind the camera right now. Say hi. Hello. So otherwise known as Zachariah, I usually talk him into helping me out with things when I can't do it myself and I need some help today because we're assembling something and that something would be an Ikea sit stand workstation that I spent about $500 on. And I kind of feel bad about that because I just realized that the autonomous sit stand workstation has far more features and probably arguably better quality is like half the price. But I'm not taking it back. I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna do Ikea and plus I bought like a different like, I don't know, bamboo tabletop thing. We're gonna try to adapt to it that wasn't designed for it, but I'm sure we'll find a way to make it fit. So guys, enjoy this DIY gasm of Jason telling me I'm doing everything wrong and hopefully and then we have a desk that goes up and down. All right, so phase one, remove the old table. There you go. All right, well, that was easy. Now, I thought it would be cool to have like a bamboo style kind of tabletop. I don't even think it's bamboo. It, it looks like bamboo kind of. Maybe it is bamboo. I don't know. Let's open up and find out. But it's called the, the Gurtun. It's the Gurtun. 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 Cut it good. All right. Okay, strip her down. Okay, I can't help but notice that this tabletop has metal components. That's what is that? For? That's underneath. That's a good support. Oh, it's just support. Okay. All right. Hope. It's not bamboo, guys. It's a. Uh, it's Gurton. Use wood oil on it, Jason. Yeah. I always oil my wood. Ladies. If you guys want to order your own tabletop, this is part number five zero one dot zero six seven dot seven three at your local IKEA facility. God, this is heavy, dude. Oh, wait. Oh. The Bacant. It's the Bacant. Okay, this is the, I think this is the go, the go parts. Yeah. That looks like a go part. That does look like a go part. It looks like it contains a motor. A motri. All right. Fancy, what is that? I don't know. It's got a mesh thing on my bobber. Here, I'm trying to be all nice, pulling the stuff out of there. No time for that. Oh, squeaker. Fail. All right, here I have the documentation to the Bacant. Okay, laying everything out, being all systematic here. I am trying to be. Okay, apparently this has got like a little button on the front leading edge of the desk that's supposed to make it go up and down. Okay, so we can mount that to whatever, right? It's yep. got like screw holes or something. Yep. Sweet. I love showing all my parts. Underneath the desk, there is supposed to be a little thing that you put all your cables and power bricks in here. That's what it is. Sweet. Okay, so there is our parts inventory. It told us how not to do everything. But it's funny because it tells you how not to do all that stuff, but we have, you have to open the box to get the document to tell you not to do all that stuff. That's a little weird. Where's our tool at? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Here we go. Just like Legos. Step one, lay the legs down, like facing in towards each other. So one like this, all right, one like that. Okay. And then lay one of these along, along the top uh, with the holes. Screw, small holes up, like this. This is what it looks oh, like. Oh, we're down there. Uh -huh. all right, got it? All right. Now what you want to do is you want, oh wait, no, sorry, big, big holes up because we've got to drop little screws through there. Okay. So now we need the shorties. Uh, let's see, which ones are the shorties? These ones right here. Okay, we got some shorties and we got a tool. Let's go ahead and drop them bad boys in the hole. In the hole. Here we go. Well, so far this isn't that hard. Any idea what size that is? Uh, here. Actually, I'll just grab this. Touch tips and you can figure it out. Oh. Prefer to use the hole method? Exactly. <laughs> I like sticking just it in the hole to figure out the right hole. Just stick it in the hole to figure out which one fits best? I exactly. Like it. I like the cut of your jib, son. I guess I don't have to get these like tremendously tight. Is she good? You're good. All right, so we are gonna proceed on to the next step, which is to do the same thing to the other side. This is like the first time I've ever seen Ikea have something more expensive and least functional than, than, than some other place. Doesn't matter, guys. I went the extra mile and paid for quality, okay? Ikea is synonymous with quality. So how many people do you think are gonna accuse me of copying Jay's two cents for having a sit-stand workstation now? Because he's got one in the studio. So. You are. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I hey but I had to build mine. He had Nick build his, I'm yeah. sure. Well, and I, I actually, you, so was on the thread, and you guys were all talking about it anyway. So Yeah. Oh, did you cross-threader? It's, it's trying to cross-thread, and so that's why I'm trying to uh, 
keep it from crossing. Good man. More better? More better. All right. Okay, so now we got to put uh, the feetsies on it. The feet, the... The feet, the feet, the feetsies. Um, oh, and they look symmetrical, so I think you just go like this. And the screws we need are... The medium size ones. Uh, are they mediums? Or the bigger size ones. There's, there's two yeah, sides. Yeah, these, these ones. Yeah, middle. These, these, these ones. There's no front versus back, right? No, they look, they look symmetrical. Alrighty. We'll find out they aren't though after we put it together. Exactly. You know what's cool is if you build enough IKEA furniture, you end up with every single Allen wrench you could ever want. Okay. Das Guten. Das Guten. And then put the little um, Das Guten top. Level eight feet, level eight feet yep. on here. Let's, let's see. Look, look, we're going off script now, guys. We don't even need the directions. I'm looking. I'm looking. We're using our, our man genuity. Just screw them in all the way. Yeah, and I'll figure it out later. I'm hoping this floor is level. Well, so far, this is this has been pretty easy. So all far. right, so let's flip her back up on her feet. Is that what we're supposed to do? I Maybe know. we're not. We're off script. Remember? Oh, that's true. This is actually pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. I'm uh, it's sturdy. That's actually sturdier than I thought it would be for IKEA. You so smart. Okay, so the middle one goes on there. Where do the side ones go? They go off the edge. Oh, okay. like this? Oh, no, I will flip the page. You are correct. Facing outward. Um, so like this. They do want to go that way. Okay. Yes. It makes it easier to get. Okay, so I'm on. guessing the remaining. So now here's here's the question: Is what you can move it forward or back? I just want it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. middle. We're going for symmetry here, folks. Symmetry. Symmetry. <laughs> symmetry. Although you technically wait, can you have symmetry with this one? I think you can. Yeah, you can. Okay, I'll admit this is going smoother than I thought it would. I guess we just gotta figure out how to get the top on here. Should we hook up the electric so we can raise it up so it's easier to work with? It's much easier if we like try and climb underneath it, man. So I'm guessing that just plugs in like like. Does it say which side it has to go into? I I'm just gonna plug it in until there. That that one fits. Yeah, where, wherever it fits, right? I don't know. He's Dude, we're sick. talking we're, we're talking about Swedish electronics here. I'm pretty sure that it's where it fits. There, to fit in the hole. Okay. Cause you know there's just an Arduino board in there or something that knows what it's doing. Yep, that went right in there. So I'm guessing that goes into that one, maybe? Uh, I would assume so, then. OK. All right. We're in. All right, now we need to find a source of power. Sir, can you reach the electron repository? Oh, this is exciting. See if we see any smoke. <laughs> no smoke. OK. So it looks like there's an arming and disarm switch. Is that so you so you can't push the button? or Probably so kids can't play with it or something. Okay. Oh. It's working. <laughs> Na 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 na. Oof 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 oof. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Cats and boots and boots and cats. We're still trying to figure out what the lock is for though. Oh, yeah. you take it out and yeah, it doesn't. So your kids oh. can't play with it. Got it. All right. Except it's way too high now that. <laughs> we want to be able to get under. Graham could almost work on us. All right, let's raise her up, boss. You got it. All right. A pretty heavy little tabletop there. Okay, now the question is, there's tons of little holes drilled all over the underside of this. I don't quite understand that. But none of them are where we need them. Nope. Wow, this is almost edge to edge, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Where's your tape measure? Here's uh, one. There you go, count 61 inches. <laughs> Ladies. No, so first off, we need to try and figure out how far apart we want to hold these things. 57 and a half and 61? Can you remember that? 57 and a half and 61. 61 <laughs> minus 50. 57.5. Okay. No, I'm not minus 500. 7.5 7. is 3.5. Divide that by 2. I can't figure out how to use a calculator today. I have a better idea. Why don't we just line it up on the bottom and just drill holes and put screws into it? So scoot your way. Three quarters of an inch. My way? Or, or my way, sorry. Oh. Are you doing math? 9.5. Are you a wizard? 18.25. Equals 11.25 and divide that by 2 equals 5.625. So 5 and 5 eighths. Are you a wizard? I'm a wizard, Harry. Oh shit. That is a hard one. Alright. That's what she said. We're good. No, that's a hard one, dude. Yeah. I don't think we're going to pass any government safety inspections. Just remember, whenever you go off script on an IKEA project, make sure you have lots of spare screws. I apologize in advance if the audio in this video sucks. We have microphones everywhere, but we really didn't do due diligence to test anything. So, 
This is how we shoot videos out here in the nerd cave. Uh, well, actually, what do we call this? Maker space, right? The nerd space, maker space, maker gasm. <laughs> maker gasm. Put up on phone. That's what she said. Okay, that'll be my slogan. Come to the maker space for movie maker gasm. <sighs> hey Jason, screw you. Screw you, buddy. I'll tell you what, it might not have the features of the Dominus, but this thing's built like a brick shit house, dude. There it is. You wanna hear something? <sighs> okay. You trying to make this a shit house? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, what other tech channel can you think of that farts on camera? I can't think of one. Maybe there's a reason. Okay. This actually went, to better, <laughs> went together a lot better than I thought it would. That almost never happens. Let's screw this thing. It's where you want. I have to admit, for being so tall though, that's pretty sturdy. It's got a little bit of front to back, but for being that high off the ground. Well, and. It'll and get sturdier as I go down here. Let's go down. Ready? Going down. Going down. Now, there's only an up and down button. It doesn't remember settings. So, if I wanted to remember things, I probably have to like mark the legs with a sharpie or something. No, no, no. What? You get Dexter to do it for you. That's right. Make Could Dexter hold it for 3.5 seconds. There we go, that's crotch level right there. That's setting number one. All right. Oh wow, that's actually uh -oh. rock solid at that level. <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> a little slow on that one, Jason. <laughs> I was. Yeah, crotch level desk. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So now to go back up. Motors are fairly quiet. Right. Let's see how high it'll go. I'm gonna take it to max setting. I think we had it max when we did Was that max? Yeah. I'm thinking no. That's higher than I have. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's almost almost tall enough for Graham. So I'm f I'm five nine and this would be like I'd be typing like this. Yeah. So no, this this is actually nice. So now I got it said I had to oil this. Wait a second, should this be setting number two? So here we have the final product, and I like that I opted for a different tabletop because I like the big thick tabletop because I don't think the autonomous has as thick of a top. It's a it's a thinner top on it. And the legs on this thing are burly. This is a very sturdy desk. I was not expecting that from Ikea, honestly. The higher it is, uh, it's, it gets a little wobble when you go to its top setting. It's very, very minimal. I'm guessing if I put some weight on it, that's gonna go away immediately. But at its low setting, I mean, it's it's rock solid. Look at that desk texture. Oh, oh so pretty. Look Isn't at that. that pretty? Look at that wood. It's so pretty, you so like pretty. that? You put your hands on them, my wood. Oh yeah, my untreated wood. Are you touching my unprotected wood right now? We'll dry. We'll dry. I like that way. Oh wait, you want to see the controls? That's the controls. It's got a little key that you can pull out so that your your kids can't come on come in here and get trapped or try to decapitate your cat with it. One thing I do like is that there's no cross member. My old sit stand workstation had a cross member. What would happen is if you had your legs resting on it and you pushed the desk down, it would just guillotine your legs. So whoever designed this did it the proper way. So you just push the button and it just goes down. So yeah, solid desk. I think I spent about four or five hundred bucks on it with the with the custom tabletop. It's cheaper if you just get it with the tabletop that comes with it, but it's a crap tabletop. Trust me on that. Um, but honestly, I haven't used an autonomous. But from what I've heard from everybody, it's got more settings, more features, and costs less. So I'd probably yeah. still recommend the autonomous over this. So there you go, guys. Even though this is what I bought, I'm still going to recommend something different because that's what that's what a good reviewer does. Yep. He doesn't steer you wrong. He says just because I screwed up and bought this doesn't mean you should. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go subscribe to Zachariah. I don't know. Does he have a YouTube channel? I think he does something uh, there every once in a while. Yeah, once in a while. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Also, be sure to come over and follow me on Twitter. I am at Barnacles. That is probably my most active social network. I'm also on the Instagram and a bunch of other networks. Hit that video description, expand it, and you'll see all kinds of cool information, including what the model numbers are and everything to buy this piece of crap. Or you can just go get the autonomous, which I'm also going to link. I'm going to go ahead and link the autonomous just because I still think that's probably the better option. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go do something else because this was kind of boring. Yeah. Later.